Hey guys and welcome, my name is NG Paradox and welcome back to the Japan series where my generalship has been questionable, shall we say. I keep throwing men into the Philippines, uh, basically just getting them killed, which uh, yeah, is very, very stupid really, but we just, I just want to take it so much we just can't concentrate on it. But up here in Russia, we have a lot of things going on here. Not sure how this is going to go, it could end up being a complete disaster. Um, I hope it can go well for us, because they might be fighting on two fronts, or well, yeah, basically fighting two sides. I'm hoping that can go well for us, but we're kind of relying on the AI right now. I'm still not completely sure how much I trust it. I would rather micromanage, do it myself, but um, this is a pretty big war, so it's uh, it's pretty hard to be able to micromanage this type of thing. But, okay, you guys have to be able to take that. Come on. There's one bloody guy. Even you guys and your stupidness can do it. So we'll send them in. Ninety four. You could you could even put some men. You throw some. You, know, you got a level. Oh, your your eleven tanks are going. Okay, yes. So I forgot those guys are moving over here. We got men moving on. Okay, they took that. That's good. If you're gonna go backwards, you should really just take this. Okay, this side is looking good. There's a few holes everywhere. You can just walk right into there. We've taken some factories. So free factories. Uh, who doesn't love free factories? I love free factories. Put a bit more. Oh, the tanks are filled apparently, but we'll keep that on. Let's go to the top. We need guns. But we've got the guns completely full. Okay, let's start building that then. And fighters. Let's give a fighters. We need more planes and stuff, so we'll go for that. How's the production going? Production's going meh. We're just not we're just not building enough. I had the same problem in my other series. I just haven't got used to how to do like uh, the military police and stuff. <gasps> we took it! Oh my god, people, we actually took it. Finally. You are a hero. So there we go. Someone finally did it. That means we can send all of these men in to help. This should be the beginning of the end for the Philippines, but we are now fighting on a, a major fight. So yeah, I'll we'll have to wait and see. Okay, these two need... This one needs to get there as well. Perfect. Ah, oh, thank God. That means they can actually start getting resources as well, which is really important. Uh, this, one, this one man apparently is here. He's obviously controlled by Australia, but... Australia said he wanted the help. Hopefully Australia goes attack them. I wish you could give them, like, you know, you could tell them where to go and stuff. That would be really nice. I really hope they add that in. A bit more communication between you and your allies would go a long way. Okay, you go this way. So let's start to bring those two together. Let's start to cut off these guys down south. Yeah, so we can then take all of this. That'll be really good. Going okay over there. A lot of people moving around and stuff. I'm waiting for these guys over here to just move out, but it takes so long to move anywhere around here. Come on, guys, you can you can defeat that. You can do it. This one guy there. 93. It's one bloody man. This one man is holding off all our men. Absolutely ridiculous. Just insane. He's too good for me. I'm sorry. Russia's just too strong. What could we go for here? A new doctrine, I guess. Air support. Let's go for that. I think sending in the planes actually started to really help here. I think that actually made quite a big difference. We seem to be making more ways through. Less mistakes as well. Are you still trying to make it there? <laughs> yes. It takes so long. I too. That's not... You, you should be going up, not down. I would send that one man. But I don't want him to get weakened. Send in the horses. They have to be done. I mean, it's obvious why they're failing. I do know why they're failing. It's just that, you know, just one of those things where you think if you just keep sending men, it has to work at some point. Okay, so we've got a lot of men here now. Let's start moving around. Yeah, we'll move that one guy there. Move this guy here. Let's start spreading out. Okay, start spreading the men out. It's perfect. We can send these guys there now as well. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. This is the start of the invasion 
of the Philippines. Hopefully this goes well for us. Naval combat, see of Japan and stuff. A lot of combat in Japan. You can see here, I think it usually goes our way though, it seems. Yeah, we just have, we just have too many right now. I think, yeah, they're just all dying. Which is nice. Always good to see that. Uh, we're being stopped though. It looks like the Russians saw us coming. And so decided to move in. So we're going to start moving up then. Then again, there's that army there. So if he goes too far, they'll be in trouble. Okay, there's only two guys. I'm not too annoyed if they die. Damn, if we just didn't have the Philippines, I could then move the men up here. That would have been a great shock attack. Yeah, that would have been perfect. But the Philippines does exist. So I'm going to keep an eye on the Philippines for now. I think a lot of the enemy have ran away from here. He's starting to send men in. But it could be too late for the Emperor. <gasps> Why? We no longer have the effects for the Emperor. Do we not like the Emperor anymore? Is he just not a good person? Oh, well. Okay, you go that way. You go this way, you go this way, and you go this way. Perfect. Looking good. There we go. You go that way? Okay. Here we go. This is the fall of the Philippines. Do we have any resources here that are good to take? Are you kidding me? The Philippines has nothing? Oh, they have two rubber, of course. Of course. I'm sorry. I forgot about the extensive uh, rubber plantations in the Philippines of two rubber. Thank God. Really, they were taking us just so they haven't got a platform from the USA. I'm hoping the USA is concentrating more on the Russians. You would hope, seeing as the Russians are kicking ass in Europe. But then again, you never know. Okay, you guys are going to have to get rid of your, your leader because he's been dumb. But I know also you've got some guys from this guy, so um, we'll probably just make him the leader of all of them. Yeah, you go, well, actually, you go there, you go there. Then the tank can go up this way. You can come over here. You're going there. Very nice. All looks well with the world. Now, I don't know how many people are here, so that's a problem. We have no idea how many people are actually there. I guess you go there. We have three men just landing. They'll stay there for now. You go that way. You go that way. Just surround these guys. I'm just going to wait till everyone gets there. Once we've kind of surrounded them. All will be good. There we go. Almost done. You're going that way. Engineer company has been done. What next? What do I want? Military police. We do need some military police right now. Because we're going to be taking a lot of land. What does our construction look like? Look at all this construction. <laughs> just repairing so much. Oh my god. Absolute, just absolutely terrifying. <laughs> absolutely horrible right there. How is uh, Australia? Oh, I have a man down here. That's not mine. God damn it. I keep thinking it's mine. Yeah, and that one. Yeah, cause it show look, it shows, like J it shows Japan. So I keep thinking it's my men, but it's just theirs. Okay, can you can you go finish off these? Can you go finish off the Netherlands, please? That would be really lovely if you could do that, Australia. You know, do, do something, you know? Okay, they're moving in. Horses got there. I could try... Oh, they're not going to take it, are they? Look at that. They're really not in a position to take that. We're just going to have to leave that, I think, that side. We're going to have to concentrate on the other sides. Uh, the men are just trying to move through. How things going across our nation. We should probably lower the speed so now I don't have to keep pausing. Because uh, I find it annoying when I have to keep pausing all the time. Mongolia, though, has been mostly defeated, which is nice to see. The tank has fallen back. You should fall back to that. In fact, both of you just really go to the dock. 
Actually, in fact, you should go back to there, because there is a dock over here as well, so no matter what happens, we can always attack somehow. So yeah, if we keep building men, we can always attack from there, or we'll find another way around. So I'm quite happy with that. Sending men everywhere right now. We just lost this point. What are you doing? Attack! Look! Look how weak he is! He's so weak, his mother doesn't love him. Go, go, go! There we go. Jesus, sometimes the AI just baffles me. So overall, we've definitely made gains. They've definitely hurt us at some points, but overall, I think we've made gains. Um, oh, look at our lovely name. Pushing northward. Yep, that's definitely going in my favor. I'm pretty happy with this so far. France is basically gone. Oh my god. Italy, though, is still surviving. United Kingdom, where were you? When were you when France fell again? This is the second time, Britain. I mean, you did save them, obviously, in the end. But, I mean, this is the second time they've been eaten up. And you did nothing. Nothing! Okay, let's just attack. That should really go in my favor. I mean, I don't know how many he has, like I said, but I would imagine he doesn't have more than that. Six men. Yeah, there's no way. So there we go. We'll push through here. Uh, you all just move forward, I guess. We're going to have to attack Cebu separately, I guess. Um, I could just get these guys ready to go do that. There's that one piece here. So I'm going to send these guys off to do that. Not frontline, goddammit. Naval invasion. So go to that one. Okay. Just 10 days for the invasion. So that's good then. So we got those guys. They'll go finish that off. So that's nice. So while the others go and finish off the Philippines, they'll go there, take that little piece. We'll use them to take the other little pieces as well, so I don't want America to have a place to attack us from. Then we can go f use them to finish off the Netherlands, and then Indonesia and all this land, Australasia is basically ours apart from down there, and some islands and stuff, which we can do periodically. And that's, look at that, greens all around. That's probably because they're not counter-attacking just yet. Once they counter-attack me, I bet we'll be screwed. Look at that, 95. Come on, finally push through. You could do it. You know what? Just send two. You need to just push through. You need to do it. It's one damn man. One damn man. Okay. The whole enough in, in the mountains. We're just not good at finding the mountains. Don't have mountaineers. I should have I should have thought that the future. I should have made mountaineers and whatnot. Okay, so we're holding off these two parts, which is okay. It's not a big deal. We're starting to close these guys down anyway on this side, so I'm not too bothered about that. Look at this. Ah, just lovely to see this. France has capitulated again. What a surprise. Poor, poor France. <laughs> this little line down the center. Republican Spain has started to come back. Um, I guess Soviet Union just released them. So there we go, Republican Spain this time, not Nationalist Spain, as was there a second ago. Should get a few more of those. There we go. I really need to hope the Allies can do more. We need to hope America just crushes in to the Soviet Union, because so far they're not doing a good job of that. Ah, that guy's still getting there. Now you guys just pop on here, because... Just in case someone tries to attack us. There we go. Just keep going. Just push on through. In fact, I don't even know why I'm sending you that far. Just go all the way. Just go all the way. And I'll systematically take ones away. Liberia joined the Allies. Not a surprise there. Of course they did. The Ally Huggers. Damn them. Just Ally Huggers, we'll call them. Go down south. What else do we have to make? They're all filled. Nah. I'll go up north. When I say north, I mean up. Done. Yeah, so while they're going up north, I can move some along to here. Uh, is that separate? No. Is it separate? 
And as part of that, it looks like they've called us into the our war. You guys ready? One more day. And it is ready. Let's go. So they'll go take that. And then we'll slowly make it. Uh, every time they stop us, they just stand still, try to shoot us. We shoot them, they die, and uh, then we win. They, keep, they do a better job than, you know, some parts. Uh, we'll take one man, take this. And we'll just take those islands. They're very happy with that. Now up in the north. Ooh, it's on the pushback. There's some bad spots. 96. Are you actually kidding me? 96? 90 bloody 6? Go, my men. Go. Push it over the edge. Even you go and help. Look, look. 98. Oh, my God. They can't do it. They can't do it. They seriously can't push through. What is that? That's been left? What the? Why is... How did I not notice this? Go. Okay, you can go that way, then. That should put them into 100. Definitely. That has to put them into 100. We also have enough uh, modifying stuff. Industrial concerns, refined electronics, yeah. None of them I particularly want. Yeah, don't think we need any of those right now. Foreign subversive activities efficiency. Yeah, none of those I particularly need right now. We make a lot of political power, so I don't feel the need for any of those. Um, I think maybe close the economy. Factory output. 5%. So it does kind of increase, it, it just lowers off factory output, construction speed, research time. But it means we keep all our resources, which could be useful. Japan could be kind of become isolationist in this regard. I mean, we don't really have that many allies, do we? So yeah, let's go for closed economy. We don't care so much for the others. How has that affected us? We need more steel. Centralist Australia, give us your steel, my friends. Give us all your steel. So there we go. So th that's going to cause problems, but hopefully if we can just do well against Russia, we can take all of their stuff, because they have a ton of stuff. And we're basically not building stuff as it is anyway. And we actually have a ton surplus of steel. Um, so let's cancel that. I still have a surplus. Oh, there we go. So there we go, because we're not sending stuff out. We're actually doing quite well there. Uh, you don't seem to be getting any. Let's put all these to zero, because we don't seem to be getting anything from them. Okay. So yeah, we could get five from Brazil, but we, we really need aluminium. I need to take that Soviet place of all the aluminium. Um, that is extremely important right now, as we can see. Those guys have taken that. Perfect. Is there a place here? No. How do you get off? <laughs> How do they get off? I can't see a dock there. It's a quick look. I can't see a dock here. Uh, can you can you not escape? I'm gonna have to check. Let's uh, do naval invasion. We can't do naval invasion. Oh, we can. What? No, not that one. You finished, right? Okay, so you guys are finished. Naval invasion from here. No, it's impossible. Oh my god. Okay. How the hell are you going to get these guys out then? What? That's ridiculous. How how are you meant to get them out? This is absolutely insane. You can't get these men out. That is just... I'm upset. There should be a way. You, know, you should be able to pick them up. Or should we connect it to something? Why am I clicking on bloody front lines? God damn it. Yep. It can't be done. That is actually so annoying. So those three men are basically just stuck there forever. 
their whole life now would just be living on a tropical island. God, what what terror. What terror that must be. Okay, guys, just keep going. I'm upset. I'm extremely upset right now. Just add them all to that, for God's sake. Just add them all to him. In fact, there we go. There we go. Just click them all to him. He can out control all those men. I'm just, I'm kind of upset about that right now. There's no way to express that. I should have looked at that, though, to begin with. That's kind of my own fault. But then what do you do with these men? What do you do with these men, then, if they can't escape? There must be something. Strategic redeployment. I have no idea what to do with them, then. I'm, uh... Why is, we'll just, just, just keep them there then. They'll just, they'll just protect those islands forever. Congratulations, men. Uh, you have a... Uh, yeah. You can protect that place forever. Okay, now we're attacking then. It's not worked out. They finally did that, though. Thank Jesus. Uh, they've left this alone, though. Which is nice to see. I've got to be careful, because actually the border doesn't go along here. Hopefully I could just click on them. Oh, butter, butter. My dog, sorry, he's just going a little bit crazy. Maybe I could just stretch this across. There we go. Perfect. So it goes all the way across. Uh, they're, they're, they're not going to get across, so don't bother. You go back here. You've got a ridiculous amount of men there, so how about you send like half of these? Half over here. There we go. Okay, that looks better. So we go, that part's done. You could push forward here. Because yeah, they have a ton of men here. If they can just push these men forward, that would actually be really good for us. They could push a load of men forward here. That could become another point of attack. You're going up that way. Okay. How are things overall? He's going into there. Good, good, good. You're going there. You seem to be getting some victories. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay, we've, we've got a bit of a problem here in Mongolia. They seem to have come around us. They have a ton of men actually around there. And all our men seem to be going this way. What are you doing? And over, oh, and they took up that. Not surprised, really. It was kind of to be expected. Just one tank left on his little lonesome. Oh, I'm just... I'm annoyed about this part here, because I don't see how we can do that. I just need to hope we can get the Philippines done and get the men back up here. That's going to be our best chance here. They're doing a... You know, they're, they're trying to hold on for now. Uh, how about you go this way? I can't believe these three men are just trapped forever. Ugh. You can't go over here. Can you go over here? No. Okay, we're going we're gonna to send these guys off. They're going to go to this one. Actually, they'll go to this one. So we're going to do a naval invasion from there. And there is a dock over here, so that's okay. There we go. And they'll go there. How long will that take? Seven days. Not too bad. Now, they're being attacked. They just need to go take the capital, and that will basically be it. Once the capital... Oh, no, there's another dock up here. Another one up here. Gee, there's a lot of docks up here. Okay, you go that way. Kind of swerve around there. Go in. Attack. Join in. Perfect. Lovely jubbly. Once you defeat them, the fall of Manila. Um, the capital of the Philippines has fallen to the Japanese after the withdrawal of its American and Filipino defenders. The entrance to the strategically vital Manila Bay remained contested for some time after the city's fall due to the heavy concentration of American coastal artillery on Corregidor Island, but the guns eventually fell silent after a concerted Japanese attack. This is a very different Japanese war, you know. America has not really come with full force here to help out the, you know, the Pacific area. With Manila under Japanese control, the, West, the rest of the Philippines are expected to follow shortly after. For the Emperor! Yes. For the Emperor. Never question our loyalty to the Emperor. Heathens! Kill them all. Heretics! For the Emperor. Four days have gone by. Um, this is still controlled for the Netherlands. 
Australia's done nothing. Australia, you upset me. I thought you'd come and help in some form or fashion. And they do control... We do have that. That is done. They've left this. Come on. I think they're going to have left this open now because I think they're trying to fall back to other areas. This leaves it really open to me. They could push back quite a lot if they've pulled back completely. Got an area here which we could probably push into, but nah, that, that's quite low. In fact, he's moving, which is not good. They're not doing well there. Damn it. Xinjiang is holding off quite well. Mongolia's causes a big problem for me right now. But over here in Siberia, it's, uh, it's actually gone quite well, I think, overall. Could be going better, but I think for what we're up against, it's not too bad. Three dockyards. Just build more big things. We've built any more men? We've not built any more men. Phew. Okay. France actually took back the land here. Republic in Spain, those holding on. Huh. Is this going to be a counterattack by the Allies? Are they finally pushed back? Are they finally seen the danger of a strong Russia. Night vision. Let me go for some night vision. Are we facing many tanks? I, I can't remember seeing many tanks. It's hard to see what they are, though. Got a few tank. Tank there. Can't see over there. There's a tank. Okay, well, let's go for tanks. Let's go for uh, infantry anti-tank for now. Because they do have a few tanks. Russia is a bit more technologically advanced than China were, let's say, in this period. The nuclear reactors are done. So that only needs nuclear bombs. We're going to get it done ahead of time. 360, uh, 300 about 60 days is a year. So it's take about two years. So again, it'll be 1945. Let's go for it then. Might as well, just for the shits and giggles. God damn, it takes... Yes, there we go. They finally pushed through there. That's a big one for us. Just resources. We just don't have the supplies going in here. Just kind of go that way. Start going around these guys. And send them in. And half this. Send those guys forward. So they have more support there going forward. That's what we need. Okay, so we're starting to fight back on this side. I think they sent more men into Mongolia now. That's why we're having problems here. Okay, and those guys have almost made it to here. Where did the 10 tanks go? I have no idea. We had like 10 tank groups. Maybe I got those mixed up. Or maybe they just got destroyed from traveling. Could be that. How many men we got? 161 at the moment. Now, there's no one attacking this guy. How about you make a run for it? Go down this way. Cut off some stuff. Not looking great up here. Like, up here is not looking great. Down here is looking okay. Maybe I could try and help. Like, for example, you could probably push into that. They're pushing into there, so that means you can push into here. Which means if you two both attack this guy, you could probably push into there afterwards. Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing... This is why I like to micromanage. You can see things the AI would not always see. We've got so many fronts right now, it feels almost impossible. So many fronts. Oh my god, okay, they just cut me off because I'm... Too many fronts, like I said. So I was just not paying attention. Um, activate those ships, go ahead. You go that way. Yeah, take these back. Okay, we need to get this into a proper actual force. That's probably the problem right now. Okay, you go that way. Yeah, just attack both sides. Attack everyone. I have to keep a closer eye on this, I think, for now. Those guys are sailing off. There we go. Okay, they're going to be pushed back there. So they're still going to be a problem. You go that way, so they can't move. Okay. Then one of you goes that way. Oh, they've been attacked, that's why. 
Okay. So a tank going here. Tank, you go that way. You go that way. You go there. And you go there to follow that tank. You go this way. There we go. Starting to make a proper actual, like, situation here. You join in there on the attack. Good, good, good. That looks perfect. You attack that way. You attack that way. And you attack that way. There we go. Very happy with that. You go that way. You go up north. And you go up there to help out the front line. And then you go that way. Awesome. Those guys are about to attack this. Call my naval forces. You can do it. Drop in. Drop in now. Do it in 12 hours. Come on. 2 1. Done. Just make sure there's no, like, attacks against us somewhere. Then go attack this. There's no one there as well, so that's even better. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to concentrate on this until we've taken all this. And that, yeah, we go. So they should all have points of attack. They shouldn't really be able to hold our guys off. This shouldn't be too hard. There we go. Perfect. Yep, very happy with this. Should be over before tea time. Even though uh, time goes a bit fast. So it probably won't be over tea time, actually. But uh, it will feel like it's tea time. Let's go that way. Okay, you go that way then. Yeah, yeah, you help out there. Okay, more factories have been taken. Make some more of these. 84, 85. There they go. Just keep fighting. Just keep pushing them. No matter what they do, they will fall. They will all fall to us. Look at this. Absolute destruction. Can't go to there. We're not allowed to retreat here. But you're not retreating there. You're going to push forward into there. They've just taken that. There we go. Look at that. Philippines has capitulated. Great news. So there we go. So these guys have finally defeated the Philippines. We can now put them all there. And with that... Yes, the... Oh, yeah. We could just wait till the Philippines capitulated. We just... I didn't have to take this piece of land. Or what was I thinking? That would have made much more sense. God damn it. God damn it. That would have been much smarter. Okay, so we're going to use these men now just to finish off the Netherlands down here. And that's basically this area done. And I'll send them up north to help out against Russia. Now, we seem to defeat their counterattack there. Thank God. We've got 12 troops down here. Which I think we'll send up here. There's too many hills, too many mountains. How's it up here? These mountains, no, these are just like plains. So we're going to send them over here. Because there's much better supplies and stuff over here anyway. So we're going to send them over there. Uh, these guys have mostly done well. It looks like these guys got stopped, which is a shame. They took this. Okay, you take that. And then we, yeah, you go with them. Take half of these. And you take those. Okay, there we go. So we're now pushing forward on there. That's not gone well, apparently. They weren't able to take that, which is not surprising for me. Up here's not... Oh, I've been held back. Can't see any ways through. Just trying to see if I can find any, like, little little shots through. Now, this place... You guys are going all the way over there, but look! Look! All these men! All those men there. We need to defeat these countries because we need them to capitulate so we haven't got to fight on so many of these damn borders. Because that's the problem. Because we've got many generals against different countries because we had to do the borders. But it's all looking overall pretty nice. So I'm pretty happy how this is going so far. I think at the moment it's going our way, definitely. We've almost defeated Mongolia and Xinjiang. It's definitely going our way, but they can really they could turn that around any time. So we can't be confident about this. 
I could send the Philippines guys up here. That would be even better. But I need to finish off down here. So, yeah. Everything's in quite good. I'm quite happy how things are going right now. Um, Siam is still not willing to go fascist. Sons of bitches. And Finland. Is it 25%? So they're slowly making their way. Um, and the Allies seem to now be pushing back, finally, which is what exactly what we've needed. So, yeah. Um, Italy's still fighting on, but yeah, it's looking like it's going to be an exciting finale. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.